My name's Eeples Vox, and today I'll be discussing some tips and tricks for getting the best possible recording quality in the Game Capture HD software from Elgato. I will have other tutorials on Elgato's capture cards and a plethora of other technology topics on my channel. So be sure to subscribe if you find this video helpful, and check the YouTube card above or the description down below for a playlist with my other Elgato gaming related videos. If you've got a brand new, powerful gaming computer and you're excited to start recording the best possible quality recordings from your Elgato Game Capture card, this tutorial will show you how to set everything up to be maxed out and give you all the features you need. But keep in mind, this does require a powerful computer. If you have a lower end PC or are having performance issues, I have an entirely different video in the playlist for improving performance in the software. It's also worth noting that desktops have a huge advantage over laptops in terms of performance and reliability with this kind of recording setup. Also, using a second internal hard drive or SSD or a USB 3.0 hard drive to record to instead of your main C drive can be very beneficial as well. I'll discuss this in a bit. There's a few specific settings we're going to look at. Encoding quality, resolution, bitrate, frame rate, and enabling features. Let's jump in. First and foremost, let's make sure your video codec settings are set up for the best possible quality. Click the settings gear icon in the top right corner of the software and go to the advanced tab. For the decoder and encoder drop down menus, select the option for your graphics card. In my case, the NVIDIA GTX 1080. Hardware encoding currently supports Intel and NVIDIA graphics devices. If you have both the option for an Intel graphics HD such and such or the NVIDIA option, Choose the NVIDIA option. The Intel choice is still your CPU and not what you want. GPU encoding, which is what we're enabling here, is much more efficient and reliable than software or CPU encoding. This will allow you to get much higher quality recordings with much less impact on your computer performance. AMD graphics cards are not currently supported, so try to go with the Intel option or just software. Next, make sure the quality slider at the bottom is set to highest quality, all the way on the right. Next, we're going to look at your video file settings for recordings. This time, click the gear icon below the device section where it says your capture device's name. Next to profile is where you can change the resolution and frame rate of your video. For 1080p, choose HD 1080. If you will only want 720p, choose HD 720. For 60fps, check the box next to allow. 60 FPS. Do note that the original Game Capture HD device can only record 60 FPS at 720p. It's limited to 30 FPS at 1080p. For newer devices, feel free to enable 60 FPS at 1080p. Also, make sure the slider next to quality is set all the way to the right where it says best. This affects the bitrate or bandwidth of the data being recorded to your video file. More data means better quality. If you're setting all this up, you probably want all of the features enabled too. So go back to the main system settings icon at the top right and make sure enable flashback recording and enable stream command are both checked. Check out my playlist linked in the video description below for videos on how to get the most out of these tools. Recording video is a data intensive process. While the Elgato capture cards don't record any earth shattering black magic intensity pro level bit rates, they can still be a bit to handle for some PCs, even higher end ones. You're going to get the best performance and most reliable experience free of visual artifacts or glitches by recording to a secondary internal hard drive or SSD. Your PC's main drive is the C drive, but that's what the operating system, programs, and games are all running off of, generally speaking. This means the drive is already being put under heavy load, which can cause some problems for trying to record to it. Many laptops are difficult to add a second hard drive to, if it's at all possible. The process is quite easy on a desktop, however. If you're on a laptop that has USB 3.0 ports, or a desktop I guess, you can use a USB 3.0 hard drive. They keep up with the recording requirements in most cases. There are plenty of guides online for installing a second hard drive in your machine if you want to look into it. It's just a recommendation I always like to make. If you choose to do so, then you need to change your Elgato video library location on that device. Head back to the main software preferences, and under library location, choose a folder. Mine is under G slash record slash Elgato, but your drive letter will vary and you can organize your folders however you like. I do hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, smash that like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and check out the video description down below. There I have a link to a playlist with all of my Elgato gaming tutorials, reviews, and so on. 
check them out. I also have product links to each Elgato card if you're looking to buy one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.